Go. Hey, Mary Jane Baker. No, I'm Mary Jane Baker. Wait, can we do that again? Mary Jane Baker, take 27. Hey, I'm Mary Jane Baker, and you're listening to 420radio.ca. You're listening to 420radio.ca, Canadian Cannabis Radio. Good evening. I'm Coulter Wonkite. I'm already into the 420, damn it. So what are you doing? You're listening to Lifestyle Radio. The opinions expressed during this show are those of the individual participants and do not necessarily reflect the opinions of their associated organizations or Lifestyle Radio. You like music, you like weed, well we gonna be good friends indeed. Not much I like more than smoking trees They'll make you dance the do si do And teach you how to achieve the grow Smoke a bowl on the 420 Radio Show On Lifestyle Radio Hello, hello, this is the 420 Radio Show We're live here, 420radio.ca And lifestyleradio.ca and, Something like uh, that Yeah, we're all primed up and ready to go for this evening Hello, Dale. Dale. Dale's taking a place of the Leonard and uh, uh, Darcy, so you better put your brain on there, buddy, because we're going to pick it. <laughs> I don't know about that tonight. <laughs> Wait, who's, who's Leonard? Leonard. Leonardo. Lenny. I'm kidding. The Professor. You said Leonard. I thought you were going to say Leonard and Skinner. Hold on. The Professor. <laughs> the hell was that you got sound effects too now do you <laughs> that sounds sound like somebody was taking a drink oh that's Nothing. my phone Dale, Dale's, <laughs> Dale's going to be doing the grow segment tonight <laughs> what are you growing How, how's, how's your experiment going Dale with your, with your bugs good so far Did you put did you put a video together yet no, I haven't been too mobile lately. I haven't got downstairs hardly. Ah. Oh. Well, you Soon. need to stop doing so much shit. Uh, I got to start doing shit the right way. You need to stop falling down, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fall down crew. <laughs> Marcel hurt himself week last week. Dale this yes, week. Yes, I heard. Uh, I'm sure Darcy will trip on something in the bush. <laughs> on something <laughs> yeah waiting for a fuck you al and yeah, if you can if you're listening ride. darcy swear to god if you're listening you got enough bandwidth to get your ass in here just say it i'm that, pretty sure darcy's sitting home with his wife he said he was going hunting tonight yeah but how do you get there uh i see the the ploy is in Anyways, uh, yeah. So, what are we going to talk about? We've got lots of sh- cannabis. Got, yeah, just a little. Wait, uh, how was your auction last week? Go yeah, on. you. She looks who? Me? Who? Me? Mary Jane. You're the only one that went to a freaking auction. I didn't have an auction. You said you were going to an auction last week. And then you disappeared. On Friday? Yeah. No, Timmy had a show. Oh, I thought you said you were going to yeah. an auction. No, no, the auction. I'm like, wait, auction. Uh, Timmy did a 10 hour marathon where he was um, like selling things, shows and experiences and stuff. Oh. Uh. Yeah. So basically, he was pimping himself out because he needs gigs. Oh. Uh. Wow, yeah. little fucking whore. So if anybody's whore. looking for a virtual comedy show. Uh, a little comedy whore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, now I'm pimping them out. <laughs> do, you, do you need a little comedy whore in your life? <laughs> Sorry, Timmy. <laughs> that's funny, because he wouldn't say that word. No, I know. That's why I like Timmy. You can <laughs> sit there and be as foul as you want, and he's just like. <laughs> oh, wow. I know. That's the branding, right? the branding clean comedian so did you get snow out there yet us yeah yeah 
Yeah, we got. And now some. it's all gone. Yeah, it's all gone here too. Yeah, we had yeah. Uh, nice warm temperatures overnight last night. We got up this morning, there was no snow left. It's kind of warm today. I I, I keep uh, opening and closing my window because uh, my heater is oh, underneath my desk. It's not warm here today. It's the temperature, I think it was eleven degrees when I woke up. It was two today and here. Four the last time I checked. And yeah. It's probably down to it's, minus two. It's one right now in the city of in the big clitty of Toronto. The clitty. The big clitty. I'm hearing more and more gunshots around my neighborhood as as life goes on, which really sucks. I'm on the cusp of Scarborough, and uh, there's a lot of parks around here, and I guess, I don't know, they feel that they can run around and shoot guns off. It's kind of like being... You can actually hear them from there. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, the the park's right behind me, so... Uh, but I mean, I'm used to it. I don't, don't pay attention to it anymore because I hear it daily at the farm, right? So I remember when I moved up to Mount Forest, however long ago it was, the night before I was moving, I was sitting on my uh, stoop and I was living at Eglinton and the Allen Expressway, just on on the northern side of Eglinton, uh, a couple of streets up from uh, Little Jamaica, as they call it. And I love that area. I'm sitting there. It's about 10 o'clock. All of a sudden I hear bang, 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 bang down the alleyway. Then cops go screaming around, pull up in front of me. Sir, go inside. We've got shots fired. I said, no shit. I can hear him. I mean, that was the night before I moved. I was like, I'm glad I'm moving. Now I'm back. And I want to move again. Why are you shaking your head at me? I'm shaking my head because I grew up in Scarborough, so I know. You know. We used to call it Scarlet. I know where you grew up. I've been there. I dropped you off there. I know. I know. Crazy. I know. Yeah, my but dad's it, still in that same spot. It, He's it, been there as long as I am old. It's um, I, I like the area. Uh, it's different and it's changing. It's changed since I've been here. But the traffic cool. in this area fucking sucks because of that stupid Metrolinx. Yeah. Is that what they're doing on Shepherd? Uh, no, there's. Uh, I don't know if they've started that yet. I think they're going to go along Shepherd though. Yeah. I don't know what the frig they're doing on yeah, Shepherd. They're, the they're saying ass. now it's going to be at least another year <laughs> uh, that that Eglinton's going to be. Uh, it was oh, supposed it. it was Eglinton, supposed to be Shepherd, it was supposed to be this year. It was supposed to be open right now, but they're actually testing the trains now at least. And what they've done is they instead of putting concrete along the tracks in the center, they've cool. grassed it all, which is really cool. It looks nice. They grassed it. They put grass uh, wherever. Uh, there was no concrete. They put grass. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see how well the grass fares uh, once the trains... uh... Uh Marcel's got his I'm looking at something look on his face. (laughs) I'm looking at all kinds of cool things. What are you looking at? Share, share. (laughs) Squirrel. (laughs) Actually, Actually, I'm... It's too bad we can't share a link. You on can. the screen here. Uh, you, you can. You can. On, Put it in Facebook? our Facebook chat. No, see, this is why you need StreamYard. StreamYard, you can literally show it, and we can watch it all together on the screen. You can well, show like it. it. It's not that. It's an article. But it's got... You can do that. You can share... There's like 21 pages. Just share oh, your screen. That's all. That oh, okay. boring. Yeah, 21 pages. No, thank you. <laughs> no. Go back to what your What I'd book. like is... If we, it was possible to just share a link on the screen, mm, you can share it in the chat, like I was saying. You can share it in yeah. both chats. So, who's, so the people aren't going to see that, but I'm going to share. No, it. but they do if they look if they watch the video screen. down the road. They will see that in the chat. Well, yeah. Right? So I'll put the link here. This is actually kind of a cool. If article. you if you send me the link, wow. I can include it in the show in the podcast uh, description. You sent the link to me. <laughs> it's one of those links. Yeah. I'll, well, I'll then just look at links. look at my web my my uh, Facebook. Page. I've already it's shared it. All right. <laughs> I've already shared shared it with the video. Okay. It um. <laughs> yeah. You okay now? Yeah, I'm fine. It's a tolerance break one. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, we're gonna talk about that one. <laughs> we should talk about that one because now with legalization, <laughs> just have to find the right freaking mice mouse. <laughs> everybody getting high, or some might start building up a tolerance. Okay, so yeah, let's talk about that because um, you know for for years and years and years. I wasn't able to get to that tolerance, to that tolerance level where you plateau. And what is it called? The entourage effect? Is that what it's called? No, no. Um, years ago, there used to be a strain called M39. And it was produced for the sole purpose of being a quick turnaround crop. And it was. Within three months, you'd have a full crop done. The problem is, is as soon as you smoked it, you didn't get high from it again. Oh, really? And what was that so called? So we sit, pardon me? What was that called? M39. You smoked M39 for a couple of days, you'd never get high. Well, you I mean, I smoke, if, uh, this is what's happening to me now, as we just spoke about before the show. Um, I'm, I'm down to one and a half strains, we'll say, right? Right. And I'm I'm finding that smoking ice cream cake all the time just isn't doing it for me isn't doing what for you though is it getting you high or isn't getting you relief it's not giving me much relief in fact it's getting me kind of edgy sometimes right or because and the article that i posted there goes on to say is there a difference between do you build up a tolerance to relief like for medical side, I don't think so. Well, you and know, personally, I think that's I, the I same. I equate the feeling of feeling high to is it working medicinally? Because most of my why I smoke it is so I feel relaxed, and Mo- if I don't feel relaxed, then I feel like it's not working. Rec- right, but most rec- people smokers don't- will go, "Oh man, I ate. Now I'm not stoned anymore." But the medicinal part is still going. Right. And, and I've said this a lot of times before, and, and I've talked to different doctors about it, and we've had the same discussion. And the biggest problem that people have is they can't differentiate the difference between high and relief. Yeah, that, that was my point. Yeah. My favorite patient is a senior citizen who hasn't smoked pot in ever or, or 40 or 50 years and start them on a low dose, uh-huh. work them up until they no longer have pain or whatever symptom they actually have. If they start getting high, keep them at that dose for two or three, well, usually a week to two weeks, um, and then slowly increase that dose again so that they don't experience what getting baked is and and getting super high. Um, Somebody that's been smoking pot for years and then goes to use it medicinally equates high as relief when they may not need it so what i found for my personal thing is high is a side effect that's too much my relief is there so i have pain free virtually all the time compared to the chronic pain that i lived in and i'm not high unless i add more to make myself high. You 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 have said more often the last couple of years I'm stoned. Yep. Because, because you've got more options. No. It's not even more options. Because I've always had similar options. I've always had hash, I've always had oil. But I have an ingested amount that I take all the time. And what was happening is I was starting to get high off of that dose, which to me told me that my body had healed enough that I didn't need as high a dose anymore. So I cut back on my ingested dose until I'm not high, but I still have full relief. So over the last couple of years, I've cut that dose back quite a bit to now that I'm at what I call my maintenance dose that I'll stay on forever and a day. But if I want to feel high, I just go smokable and I can get a buzz. Yeah, I just got one. 
<laughs> that was that pause. <laughs> that was that pause. <laughs> Meep. Um, but for I, tolerance, what I've always told people is, is if you need a tolerance break because you're not getting high, I mean, it gets expensive. You smoke, you go and you buy an ounce, yeah. for example, and you start smoking it the day you got it. Well, you're going to smoke it all day and the next day and the next day. But what you're going to find is as you're going along, you're not getting high as high as you were for the first day. So you're always going to try and chase that high. So you end up having to smoke more and more and more and you run out quicker. Then you're off, you're off to get another ounce. Um, My solution is buy more ounces and rotate more often. Well, that's one of the reasons why I always, (laughs) I always get more than two strains. I always do. Yeah. But if you're looking right. for the high, stop smoking for three days. Yep. Well, that like like I said, I I've been smoking uh, pretty much uh, ice cream cake, and then I went into a bag that was in the back of the freezer and pulled out some buds, and it's just like yeah, and it's like it's either lemon lemon super lemon haze or uh, death bubba, and either or is fine. They're about the same. Yeah, but <clears throat> but if you stop smoking for three days. And then you go, now this guy in this article says 21 days. Unless I get has, really, really sick, dude, it ain't happening. Yeah, I would have to be sleeping for all those yeah. days. Yeah, that, and, well, and let me let me explain, though. But this, is, if this I, is more for the recreational user than the medicinal yeah. user. Medicinal user, I'm not going to ever tell medicinal user, stop using it for 21 if days. I went, if I went even a, a week even without, day, I'd be curled God. up on the fucking couch whimpering, dude. But okay. see, years ago, I did the test to see. So what I did is I stopped cold turkey. I've done just that. to see how long. But it was forced. No, mine wasn't forced. I forced it on myself. Mm. So the first day is not so bad. Um, no, and then you get a little grumpy, a and, then, and then you get a little the depressed, and day then the pain start starts getting, coming. And, yeah. yeah. Second day, you start getting uncomfortable. And then the third day, you're full out in pain. Yeah. Any pain you had, it's back. Well, it's more um, exaggerated. It doesn't always go away. Then as soon as you hit up the cannabis, the pain's gone. Yep. I, I, it's that you can actually feel it. It's good a good strain. You'll actually feel the deep, 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 deep go down your body and then just kind of engulf you and like, ah. Uh. See, I wonder if mental is different than physical because I use it for both mental and physical and – we're talking not even a day. The last time I went without was when I went to L.A. and we flew down there and I was like until we got to the dispensary. Like from the time we landed to the time we got to the dispensary and I got that first puff into me, I was like completely on edge. Well, you, that's probably more uh, mental than physical. When I when I was living at in Mount Four in, in Durham, actually, um, there were times when I would go weeks without, and I, when I was taking Sesamet, remember Marcel? Yeah. I would have to sit here and do a show <laughs> without anything other than Sesamet, and but then my buddy that lived upstairs would come down eventually, and I'd be like, "Oh, dude, thank you," and just one joint would keep me going for the whole fucking day. Whereas if I had been smoking constantly like I do now, uh, you know, you, you don't get as high off that one joint or as relieved off that one joint, whatever word you want to fucking call it. All right. Medi- medication, you call it pot, medication, whatever you want. I don't care. Stop using it for three days and go back to get high. Well, so and that's... But, go the full route, this guy says 21 days. I mean... It's not a bad reason, thing. To, it's not but, a bad thing to to purge yourself every now and then. That's for sure. No, not at all. I'm just, as a medical patient, I can't afford to do that to myself anymore. I'm getting too old for that shit. Well, it's it, when it comes when it gets to the point where you're using cannabis to up your quality of life. When you take that away, in, in, in no matter how small amounts, uh, it's going to affect you. You oh know. yeah. Like when I met you, you were just out of a chair and still using your walker. Yep. And um <laughs> now he's dancing <laughs> without yeah. a walker. Uh and now Dale needs your walker, by the way. Dale, do you need yeah, your walker? <laughs> I can sure use it right now. <laughs> Did you find some crutches? 
I'm going to go get some tomorrow. I have some sitting in the fucking storage, dude, and if it wasn't so expensive, I would happily send them to you. Oh, it's all good. Yeah. They're just cheap here. It won't yeah, cost very much. You, you, go to, go to uh, Lenny's store. I'm sure he'll hook Just you go up. to the Red Cross and sign them out. There you go. Or the hospital. Yeah, either or. Yeah. Yeah. But the Red, Cross, Red Cross do has you, them. Do you guys have OHIP kind of stuff out there? We have MSI. And that's the same, would be the same as OHIP. Similar. Yeah. Does every, is everybody covered like here in Ontario? Yes. And are there any, any states, I was going to say states, any provinces that do not have that? I don't think, uh, I, I know Quebec is pretty covered, right? They take care of their people. Yeah, I think they got their own. Uh, I think every province has some form or another. But not every problem, province has a, a disability service, right? Like ODSP right. does. Like you guys don't yeah. have disability out there. You only have uh, like uh, welfare, basically. Yeah, right? social services. But it, uh, yeah, social, social services. services. But but is it? Would it be the same? Uh, as well, the, out here, out here, disability falls under social services. As yes, well. it's run by it's run by social services. Yes. Yeah. But that's in Ontario. Some provinces don't have what we have here in uh, like if I decided to move to Nova Scotia, I would be moving without my ODSP. You'd have to go right. on social assistance. But then once yes. you move here, you apply for MSI. Oh. So that's your health card. That okay. gets you into your hospital. Yeah, my my sister yeah, just but... moved to Alberta, and she's had to uh, get a new driver's license, get a new uh, uh, medical Health card, card. Uh, insurance, because uh, I think the insurance here in Ontario wouldn't cover her for very long there. Uh, all kinds of shit. She had to get everything changed over. Yeah. I thought the disability was a federal program. No, nope, it is not. Uh, the federal really? program is Canadian pension, and no, that... well, no there's there's a disability pension plan. Yes, yeah. CPP. That's the disability. Yeah, for the uh, federal, which but is it's yeah, only it is it's, a, it's also it's turns out to be ten, very low. Ends up being your old age pension. Yeah, it's very low. You look at like a thousand dollars a month, and well, that's yeah, about what I get. I get twelve fifty five a month, but it, it's very low. Oh. Now, hold on. There's in in some cases there's you get a little bit more, but there are no benefits at all to the federal CPP. And when you apply for ODSP here in Ontario for Ontario Disability. Uh, they actually see if that you're, uh, they check to see if you're eligible for CPP first. Yeah. But if you get on CPP, I have a few friends that are on CPP and they get no benefits at all. Although ODSP is slowly wiping out all our benefits as well. You know? Yeah. You're, you're on ODSP, right, Mary Jane? Yeah. Yeah. So um, in Ontario, I don't know if it's like this on the East Coast, but they have um, welfare. Or what they call Ontario Works. Yes, yes. Um, which is like a basic for anybody who isn't employed um, can apply to that. And then they get like X amount of dollars. Yes. And then um, disability uh, is for people who can't work or can work but are disabled. Yes. Um, and they get Y dollars, which is a little bit more than X A little dollars. bit more. Now, here's something that if it's you're not much. if you're on disability in Ontario... What you can do is if you need stuff over, because ODSP, they won't pay for school, they won't pay for clothing, things like that. But when you're on Ontario disability, you have the right to apply to Ontario Works, which is the, the welfare side of things, to get extra for things like if you need clothes uh, medical stuff, things like that. It's now no, false. I didn't know false. that. It's new. It, it falls to O. It falls to O. W. Now. See, it all depends. They yeah. keep changing everything, yep. and if you don't have a good worker, they don't tell you shit. <laughs> yeah, I like, actually really mine am, keeps changing. I had a good worker up north out of the Owen Sound office that I had for the whole time that I was up there, and uh, she was great. Uh, I wish I still had her. I wish I could take her with me. You know. I've been in the city now. I need to knock on wood. I've been in the city now four years. I've never spoken to my worker, and I've only gotten one letter from her oh. just asking me how things were. That was it. That's all oh. I've ever gotten. But I'm. But have... then I'm on permanent disability where friends of mine who are just on 
you know, they have to renew it every now and then, right? Uh, which is stupid. Yeah, like, I, is stupid. I know what you're talking about people in permanent, like, wheelchairs and shit. How in the fuck? I know. Like, it, I fall under permanent because I have mental health oh. issues. And is the minute you apply under that subtext, bingo kind of thing. Not bingo, but, you know, it's no picnic okay. living on a fixed income, I tell you. No, they uh, monitor everything. Oh, yeah. Yep. So, but anyways, back to cannabis. <laughs> cannabis. Did I'm just the, looking at some more. Did anybody hear anything about Grow Up this past week? No, I was going to, uh, we didn't hear from you really. Oh, yeah, we talked to you about it. Uh, you were here for a little about while. About Lyft? Yeah. Lyft, yeah. Yeah, I was so busy with shit, I totally forgot about Grow Up. Yeah. Uh, and with being in Niagara, it's one of those things that, And like, you, you couldn't go in anyways at this point. And it's too fucking cold to hang out outside now. I don't think that it would be the same atmosphere out there because it's there's casinos right there and there's a lot of security. Was there any security at Lyft telling people to get out of the way or not be here and not be there? Uh, we had security pop out once or twice to tell people to move away from the doors when they were smoking. Yeah, because you could smell it inside. <laughs> other than that, I know, I know, um, Sabby was there and, uh, they asked her or they were inside asking about the unicorns and she's like, oh, no, 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 they're fine. They're fine. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just waved at security and was like, Hey, how you doing through the glass? Yeah. Yeah. No yeah, harm in cool. anybody. We're so, so there chilling. Did, yeah. I, I have not heard much about. I've seen a few pictures here and there about grow up, but uh, yeah, again, it's in uh, Niagara Falls. It's not a place that I go to very often. I'd, I do, but in the summer, I'm more apt to go north than south. It's Niagara's nice in the summer, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I've been. I've been like, how many times do you need to go to Niagara Falls in your lifetime? Oh, yeah. I've gone so many, but that's, I'd go again. That's what I mean. Well, I would too if I if you know if somebody said, "Hey, let's go to Niagara Falls for the weekend," you know, I'd be like, "I know oh, what you right. mean." Though there's met there's like how many other places in Ontario that you can go? I I also uh, like Sudbury. Yeah, but you see, we used to go for the parks and now if you go to fucking marine land you're a hypocrite yeah. uh if you go to sea world you're even a bigger hypocrite you know when you go to those places and what else is there there's casinos and uh movie th is there what uh, uh theaters there's some theaters there isn't there <laughs> i can't do anything there right now anyways yeah exactly i can go to hotel room <laughs> that's, that's get takeout <laughs> that's, it. that's it you know Oh. And that's gonna and that and and now uh, not to bring a bummer note. Now we're gonna have to deal with uh, kids and what's gonna happen there. So it, it's, oh, dude, and, I already my kid wanted to try out for volleyball and they wouldn't let him. She's she's like, can you explain to me why I'm not allowed to try out for the team? Because you're not vaccinated. Yeah, but in she this year, our school why. board is not competing with other school. They're not. It's it's our school against our school. They're literally making teams within the school. It's just a why? Way, it's just a way to push parents into like, getting them. Yeah, yeah. She doesn't want to get it. And she that's made her that choice. Decision on her own. And but, I'm like, you know what? If the government is telling everybody that a five year old has the right to make their own decision, then my twelve year old has the right to make hers. Marcel, do you think that they're going to outright say that if your kids aren't vaccinated, do you think we're going to get to that point? You can't go to school. You're going to go back into the into your house schooling. I don't know. I hope so. I really do. Why? Because I think that might dry. It might, might dry it up. The push. No, it might be the push that the country needs to get off their fucking asses and say enough's enough. Because there are countries just, that are saying enough's enough, right? And they, yeah, but. They're not showing those countries on the news, are they? No, they're talking about Australia and Austria. Yeah, you know, uh, and they're they're you know the thing I don't like. Okay, uh, and I'll say it: I don't like the when I, I'm. I have a, a, I shouldn't bring this up it. during uh, during Hanukkah, but I have a lot of relatives, uh, a lot of who have passed that were either in the camps or remnants of that whole thing. And yeah. what I don't like 
and I followed unfollowed a few people because of it is the reference to Nazis and what's going on now. It turns my stomach that people would even think about putting one to the other. You know, uh, this, in all honesty, it, though, it, 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 I can see how they're seeing it because it's exactly how it's. They're started. calling it a genocide, but it, that's, well, there were you know, there were a lot of similarities with the beginning, though, Al. That's why. That's why they started doing it's it. Not right the from end the beginning. result. It's still re- regardless. It's not the same. I don't disagree. Oh, no, no. And and it turns my stomach. That's all. I mean, I don't even want to have a conversation with it. It turns my stomach. I had that somebody much. say that on my post uh, today. It was like Nazi Germany. I said no, Canada. Yeah. And then they said yes. the same thing. And I'm like, I'm not going to no. indulge in no, that. No, but no, no. Yeah. I mean, I I uh, when you, when you have sat at a at a at a table in a kitchen and had conversations with people who have survived that. Uh-huh. Okay then you'll have a different perspective, okay? My cousin, I won't say even say her name, my cousin, uh, you even brought up anything uh, from that, that era or even for it, from Israel, and she would absolutely be gone and, and turn into a raving lunatic because she couldn't Aww. handle it. From it's the fucking people. traumatic, the shit yeah, they went of through. of course. If, we, we have something different going on now because really now what we're getting is safe. Happy vacation. Hanukkah, by the way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, where they're trying to segregate the vaccinated away from the unvaccinated. Yeah, well, and, and that's what's happening. This is what gets yeah. me. Nova Scotia has been, has, I don't know, they, they locked down everything hard. We've got a. Are you under lockdown again or you're about to be? No, no, but oh. we're the only province that still has a checkpoint at the border. Holy. That's not true. I, Ontario has our, we have our borders, <laughs> and they're closed still. Yeah, but Where? not Ontario to Quebec. No. Not Ontario to... Manitoba. You know. uh, He's talking about the interprovincial I'm not border. Not sure I'm, you, I'm not sure if you can get on Turtle Island yet. I'm not sure if you can get on Turtle Island uh, yet or not. Yeah, but that's almost states, isn't it? We still have yeah. these outbreaks. But the problem is, is now is these outbreaks, they still they're blaming the unvaccinated for the spread of this virus. But these outbreaks are happening in all of the facilities that you need a passport to get into. Yeah. Now we've got Omicron, uh, was Om- Omicron? Omicron, Omicron, which is actually supposed to be even milder than. That's fucking Wait, what happened today? Oh, I my had one too many little uh, squares. You had some Somebody squares, said you did may you? have overindulged today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I started tasting uh, oil, and I figured I better ask him how much was in them before I kept going. Good thing nobody I did. has an nobody has an idea. <laughs> but I figure if you eat ten of them. I right. roughly are those, have are those what you showed what me earlier? Is, is that like. what you're talking about, Marcel? Is that what you showed me earlier? Those? Uh, no, 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 no. Remember the remember the spoon, the chocolate spoon I ate on the show one night. No, well, you 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 have that. you took a break from even talking about it for a little while. So, no, I, I was baked from that. <sighs> well, ten of those little chocolate tea has will be about the same as one of those. So, spoons. what would that be equivalent to? Uh... 300 milligrams <laughs> oh. well, no but three okay when when you say 300 milligrams but that's that's really just 0.3 of a gram right 
No. No. No, that's three that's grams. Not. That's three grams. What? Okay. No, that's what? not. What is okay? So no, what is three hundred milligrams? Let's do simple math okay. because this is the hardest thing. Well, that I was trying to. <laughs> so make what us feel like do? idiots. Yeah, there no. you go. Welcome no, to I'm the four twenty radio show, I'm you try idiot. To do this a different way <laughs> to see if I can get you to understand it. Think right. of marbles. Marbles in your mouth. So you have a whole bunch of marbles. No, you've got one hundred marbles. Those little glass marbles. I may have weighed, may right. have taken just a bit too much tonight. <laughs> okay, so that one hundred marbles, yeah, can be considered as cannabinoids, and that would equal one gram of oil, right? Cannabis oil. Oh, I thought you were talking shroomies. No, no. Oh, no, he's okay. eating THC. Seven hundred and fifty or seventy-five. Oh, okay. I know. I know marbles. how he's feeling now. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. <laughs> so. When you say 300 milligrams, milligrams, yeah, that would be true milligrams. That could be half a gram of oil. Yeah, it's really not that much. No. I mean, comparative to the amount of oil that would be in it. I mean, where do the marbles come in? So, no, it's an easier way to explain THC, CBD. You said so, 75 marbles, and I'm lost. All right, so 70, so you have 75 red marbles. Oh no no! He never well, he said never did. And now, now you're like saying colors. Oh, my he God. never got to the marble <laughs> equation yet. <laughs> she got high. Look at her; she's baked. I'm not high. You said you have a hundred marbles, and then you said you have seventy five marbles, and then so, now you're saying you no. have seventy five. If you red put four potheads in a room because, and talk about marbles, how Al, many marbles do you have no left? Space keeps okay. interrupting shit. Okay, so out of the hundred marbles, seventy five of them are red. Right. Okay. That's 75%. Okay. That's 75% THC. And then you have, say, some green marbles that would be CBD. Okay. And say five green marbles. Now you have 5% CBD, 75% THC. And There's still up. 20 Don't talk marbles now. left. Just be quiet. Talk uh -huh. back here. They can Those 20 up. marbles are all of the other cannabinoids. Yeah. Okay. All right. So when you think of a gram, people, and I see this all the time, people say, oh, well, there, I mean, most people cook, talk weight, I'm, right? It's not about the weight. It's not even, no, not at all. Because people online would be saying, oh, yeah, I made these cookies. There are 1,000 milligrams of THC each. That's not a fucking chance because you would be so baked off 1,000 milligrams of THC. A thousand milligrams of oil is still a lot of fucking THC, even if it's only 750 milligrams, right? Three milligrams, a non-user will feel three milligrams of THC. They set 10 milligrams at the limit for Health Canada. What for, What is the most you've ever done? Me? Uh, five grams of oil. Yeah, I've done, no, no, I mean milligrams wise. Well, five. That'd be five hundred. What's I, five times seven hundred and fifty? I've done about six fifty, and that I'd have to ask Alexa. Put me into yeah. Uh, hey Alexa, do you feel like doing some math? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> you just ask her <laughs> the math question. <laughs> Don't give her the choice. Thirty-seven hundred and fifty <laughs> milligrams a day. Wow. That's what you used to take when you first started yep. doing the oil? Yep. And that works out to what? About half a gram a day or, or a gram a day? Five grams a day. Five grams a day. Five grams a day. But you're only supposed to take one. <laughs> but I was trying to get better. And so, but, but now that I wasn't getting but it better. Inca but it oh. incapacitated you for a while, though. No, it didn't. That no? oh, didn't okay. help me. It wasn't helping me at all. But oh. the problem was, is that was at the point when I couldn't eat, and uh, because okay. of the, and because I couldn't eat, I didn't have. Now, stop I one second and let's back up the whole story because we have not mentioned that this is as a result of a MS diagnosis. Right. Right. Okay. Yes, my MS advanced into my internal organs and it shut off my intestines. Ouch! So I couldn't eat. Yeah. So I lost just over 100 pounds in three months. Wow. Uh, so back, obviously. What, 
what I was doing though, because I was still young and dumb and I had yeah. no idea, I was consuming just straight oil, five grams of straight oil a day. This was what, oh. 10 years ago? Yeah, that would have been around 2010. Yeah. Okay. So I was laying in bed one day in constant pain and I'm thinking, I'm missing something. And then it was like a light bulb went on yeah. and I mixed it, the oil with olive oil and I started getting relief because I hadn't been eating. I didn't have any lipids in my digestive tract for the cannabinoids to adhere to. Why did the introduction of olive oil help as where you just straight was not? It was just because it was too much? Because well, just, cannabinoids attach to the lipids. To the fat in the oil, okay. The fat yeah. in the oil. If I don't have fat in my diet, because I got uh, okay. no diet. I get that. Right? Yep. yep. So I started getting relief, not high relief. So then I was able to start cutting back because, I mean, that's you're looking at 50 grams of pot a day to turn it into oil to get your five grams of oil. I don't get stoned from oil. I get relief from oil. Same as, now you've told me I need to decarb it, decarb it, but when I do a squishy and put it on my popsicle or whatever, it's, or not my popsicle, my sucker, it, it yeah. really, it, it helps me get through the day. And it tastes good. Makes my mouth burn, too. <laughs> is your sucker medicated? It is after I put fucking squishy on it. Sure is. <laughs> 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 put about a half a gram of squishy right on my my sucker and just sit there and chomp on that for a half an hour in fact decart decarb it it'll work even better yes yes as people come in but, and you yeah. could use a lot less now okay but in order to decarb it you actually like when you decarb it stick it in there for at 220 for 20 minutes or so isn't it just going to melt down and just go Pfft. now will it scoop up because i've noticed like um the ice cream cake uh, it has to be squished at a, a, a less pressure and uh, 30 to 45 seconds as opposed to a minute and a half or something like that. Now, I've right. heard, I'm sorry, I'm changing the subject. You, we'll talk about that after for the gross stuff. Sorry. Go on, Marcel. <laughs> wow. I know. Eh? Welcome to my that world. Was, that was quite the tangent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just... I know. We zoomed right across the whole spectrum on that one, yeah. only to be told to hold on. Hold on. Oh, well, you want to keep going? Should we just keep going? No. Okay. no I, geez, you're on a roll, but what was the question? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't it have to do with lipids? Yeah, we were talking about fat. Uh, <laughs> the lipids. Why, yeah, because yeah, yeah. you got better relief when you added the oil. Right. The olive oil, sorry. Yeah. Now, so, so olive oil is the best thing to be using, right? No. When you're cutting? No. Oh. No. Oh. Okay. No, there is another one, but the problem with it is it's very volatile. All, oh, olive oil that? you can heat up. It's like coconut oil. Okay. The problem with coconut, no, that's, there's not a problem with coconut oil. Natural refined coconut oil is beautiful. I like I like coconut oil. I don't like MTC. MTC, MC, 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 or MCT. Yeah. It MC, is coconut oil, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it is coconut oil, yeah. but it's a refining process so that it doesn't solidify. Yeah. So what they've done is they've taken the long molecular chains of coconut oil and broken them to make them a medium chain triglyceride, uh, MCT. Yeah. The I'll problem the with poops. MCT is it's nice and liquid. You can mix your oils together and it looks fine. But it doesn't bind. There's not an issue, but it acts as a natural laxative. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that... So okay. this is why Lenny and, and, most, and I are always laughing about most all products, the shit. Yeah, most shit products yourself, that are out right? there right now are, uh, you yeah. know, that are on the market through OCS and other legal entities are made with MCT. So what about... That's why I keep laughing. What about I can't grape do it. seed? Grapeseed oil is a good oil. I use grapeseed yeah. oil for massage oil. Do you? Okay. For a medicated massage oil, for muscular relief and things like that. Grapeseed oil has got a, a, a nicer texture on the skin. Yeah, than, it's lighter. So, yeah, than olive but, or something like that. So uh, what is the best carrier uh, other, other than you? Know, I know. I know. I want to take a guess at this. Go for it. I would say hemp. 
Oil, right. hemp Omega oil. Omega three. Really? Hemp seed oil is the best carrier, but the problem is, is you can't hemp seed. You can't heat, heat hemp seed hemp oil. Seed oil. You'll up. just destroy it. Yeah. As soon as you, it, you as soon it. as you heat omega threes to fifty degrees Celsius, they're no longer omega threes. They yeah. decarboxylate into omega six. And the omega six is not good for you. Well, it's fine, but it doesn't. As... Omega omega six opens up half your receptors. Oh, uh, right? okay. But omega three opens up all, all of the of receptors. Them. So you end up getting much better. So for an ingest inside, you get well. This is why i am where i am today because i figured out how to do it so in fact uh regular coconut oil is better especially if you want to bake with it i like i make make cookies out of it and with it and and sure. I, I but but not the mct you can't do it right so with natural coconut oil you basically measure out how much you want you melt it yes add your oil just like you would completely. just like with butter right Oh, excuse me. Hiccups. Like when I when I when I make some some uh, I'll make a can of butter and then I'll make some with uh, coconut oil as well. So there is a trick um, with the coconut oil, and that's basically stir the shit out of it. Well, you use the magic butter machine <laughs> if you want, but I mean. It doesn't have to go for a two-hour cycle. You're just all you're doing is melting oil and adding oil to it. You you don't, right? or you could do it with use your the one hour on the. I could your, do it on with, the magical butter. It's a one hour. I could do oil. it with with uh, with. I could use my. I was going to use some squishy and squish up. You said five grams. I think you said I should try it with and just throw that in there and yeah, make some cookies or something. Now, yeah. question: While we're on the whole carrier thing, what is the best carrier? For uh, phil- psilocybin, I was going to say psilocybin. <laughs> uh, Alcohol? No. <laughs> uh, no, no, because I've been doing some research, and there's different processes give you different effects. All right. Um, if you well, that's the same with cannabis. Yeah, yeah, it is. If you do it as a tea version. All right, so you steeped in water. That seems to be for me the most calming way. Okay, and that's what it is. It's a, it's a calming, relaxing way to do it. Tastes bad. Um, I like putting it in. Oh, I, I I'll take I I'll take some. Good. I'll take a nug, and I'll take some. Uh, uh, um, what were we talking about? Mushrooms. <laughs> and, and and grind them up, and then put them in my uh, Keurig, and run it through twice. And it makes a nice a nice tea that you can run it through a few times more. And it's, well, you should it's run really it through nice. a few times more because yeah. if you're making a tea, then it should steep. It for should about steep. An hour. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, that's I was going to um, say that it should steep. There, you can do a but another it, extraction in the curd. Process. It kind of does steep, but it's superheated and it's and it's under pressure. That's all. Right. Right. And it's still under not. Pressure. It's not it's, sitting it's, there. That length of time that it needs to sit. Yep, yep. Um, There's a grain alcohol procedure to do an extraction, and that gives you a totally different effect. And that's illegal in Canada. Yeah. Uh, Unless you have a permit. Well, (laughs) you're extracting mushrooms. It's illegal, anyways. Yeah, I mean, it's already illegal. Oh yeah, um, that, I forgot we we're talking about mushrooms. You said <laughs> you said alcohol, and I was like instantly, "Well, you use that for cannabis." So like, There's another process that can be done, not recommended for most, because it involves working with a few different acids to to for mushrooms do the extraction that way. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't sound like um, fun. That's like, again, like watching how you make cocaine. <laughs> the tea. There's some the battery alcohol, acid for your nose. <laughs> yeah, the tea and the alcohol extractions are very similar. Okay. Um, in effect, for for people but what i find is for people that eat just the raw mushroom Mm -hmm. plain as disgusting as it is is the best effect if you're going to consume it consume it with something fatty and also i've been told that the more mulched up it is before you swallow it the more you chew it up in your mouth before you swallow it the the faster it will uh work and that it'll work better 
So I read that. Somewhere. You're 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 just giving more surface area, but you're also ex- absorbing a lot of it buccally. But you can put oh, it into food. Okay. So you can grind it up and put it into food. You'll still get the same effects. But you can't smoke it. Uh, no, no actually, yeah, I've never, tried it. And I've you tried can't. It. You, you, you can't. It yeah. doesn't <laughs> doesn't get you high. No, no. Doesn't do anything. And you can't squish it because there's no. It's dried. Now, could you? It's dried. But if you you we've had this conversation. But if you squish the uh, uh, the fresh mushrooms, you're just going to get like a soup. You're going to get water. Yeah. So because what about capsules, though? You grind them up, and you're eating. It's the eat, same as eating. It's the eat, same effect as well, eating it. You're grinding yes, up. It's just ground up. Because you grind it's them no up. Different. Yeah. You're getting action. But I like. I like it that way. I like capsules. Yeah. 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 No or chocolates. Yeah. Um, How you doing, Dale? <laughs> <laughs> checking in on you, Dale. Every once in a while, just checking to see if Dale's still, still, see if Dale's still awake. <laughs> Yeah, it's still awake. That's like, you know, at that at that thing that we went to there, the chocolate thing, MJ. Okay, I was I wasn't planning on sitting there all day. I'm glad I did, but I wasn't planning on staying there. There, I was just dropping stuff off and going home, right, going back to the trailer, and just gonna chill out with the dog. And but it got to the point where I was so stoned, I could hardly get up, and everybody kept coming over and checking on me. <laughs> I just sit there. I, I didn't move the whole fucking day. I just See, sat there. I can't do that. <laughs> it rained and everything, but it was. I had not done that. I miss the markets so much. I miss going to events so much that I just wanted to stay. I mean, I was 10 minutes up the road, but I just by the time I got settled, I was too stoned to drive, so I stayed. Then I ate some of fucking uh, Danny uh, Raposo. Is, is that his name? Oh. Raposo? I yeah. ate, I had one of his burgers for for lunch, and oh. I had to go back and get another. It was so good. Ah, uh, you're making my mouth drool. Yeah, no, I'm hungry. Again. Stoner chef. Ah, fuck. Yeah, good burgers, Danny. Uh-huh. Yeah. He was just in Portugal. He just got home yesterday, I think. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So Portugal. Um, I've got a a, a song loaded up. <gasps> no way. Yeah, well, and um, well, we have a choice. Okay, oh. uh, we can listen to 420 Local so by our buddy uh, Bobby Fricks, uh, who unfortunately passed away last year. Uh-huh. Or actually, it's been a little longer than last year. But or we can listen to Don McLean's American Pie. We can listen to both. Sure, why not? You want to do both? I don't know about both. That's a l- American Pie is a long song. Eight minutes one. and 37 seconds. Oh, well, then play the first one first, and then we'll just cut American Pie short. Right. <gasps> you can't you do, that. do that. I'm sorry. That'd be like, hey, Look, Cat Stevens, American. I only want to listen to half your song. Oh. God. That's like saying, oh, yeah, only make you me half a jewelry. Fucking young people. Fine, then doing? I'm done. <laughs> this tree is finished just for you. Half a tree. <laughs> Merry <laughs> fucking go. Christmas. <laughs> exactly. All right, so we're going to listen to, uh, what did I say? Some uh, Bobby Fricks, 420 Logo. It's a shorty, and we'll be back. This is the 420 Radio Show. We're live here at 420radio.ca. I don't know if anybody's talking to us in our, our Facebook chat, because I don't have it open. Maybe Dot somebody ca. Wanted... No, they're all being quiet. Everybody's being quiet today. Well, fuck, you know. Okay, so before before we go, I just want to remind people that you know, if you want to call in, we have a Skype. It's Lifestyle Radio. Uh, to all the people on Twitter that keep saying, I got something to say. I'd like to come on the show. Here's your chance. We have a whole hour left. We'll be yeah. right back. Hey, this is Chong. This is this is You're listening to Lifestyle Radio. What is it? Lifestyle Radio. One more time. 420 Radio. Ooh. You're listening to Lifestyle Radio. Enjoy the buzz of legalization with Campbellford Lifestyle Shop. From lights to plant nutrients, books, consumption accessories, and more, we've got all your basics to grow or consume cannabis. Visit our info center or take a look at our piercing services and body jewelry, now available in-store through Campbellford Lifestyle Shop. 17 Bridge Street West, Campbellford.
I can't smoke pot Hell, I can't even wear my earring Sick and tired of people telling me What I can and cannot do Guess I'll just pack up my guitar And move to Music City Starve to death like most starving artists do I can smoke all the pot that I want in my old 420 local If I want, I can even wear an earring in my nose No longer matters how I vote, or even if I want to No longer matters how I wear my hair or my clothes You're listening to the randomness that is 420radio.ca. Sorry, that's 420radio.ca. Powered by ADHD and fueled by cannabis. Yep. yep. Oh, i got to read you this. This is hilarious. Okay, so you found something funny. What was that bitter face that you were making there, MJ? Oh, she's not there. Anyways, go ahead, Marcel. All right. Um, this is from back in November. Um, first, four cops were busted for helping run an illegal weed farm in Maine. I think I remember that. All right. So, uh, according to newly released federal court documents, a state licensed medical cannabis cultivator collaborated with several local law enforcement officials to sell over $13 million worth of legally grown medicinal pot on the black market. The feds have charged 12 people, including four local cops, an assistant district attorney, a local town board member, with 14 different criminal charges in connection with this illicit operation. Federal prosecutors have charged two Franklin County Sheriff's deputies with providing confidential information to the growers in exchange for new cars and ownership stakes in the business. Two other cops stand accused of warning these two deputies that they were under federal surveillance and a board member of a nearby town was accused of accepting tens of thousands of dollars in exchange for advancing a local cannabis ordinance that was written by one of the alleged operators of the scheme. <laughs> so, yeah, busted. <laughs> so they're, they were taking legal cannabis and selling it on the black market. Where was that, Marcel? Maine. Maine, wow. Yeah. That and something, like, something Maine. like that would never happen here. No, never. So have you guys, you've got Uber up there, right, Al? Sure do. Have you ordered pot yet? Nope. I haven't even been what? into a fucking legal store yet, dude. If really? You don't have to. Uber will deliver it to you. Yeah, well, you know, I, I'll, I'll admit I have been looking uh, because I want to try some of uh, Turo stuff. Yeah. But then I decided that I'm just going to sign up for their medical program. Yeah. And uh, and but I can 
there's only one or two places in the city that has the Shatterizer stuff. Right. Oh, hold on. Here's your reminder. Hey, Al, take your pills. Thank you. Um, must be eight She's o'clock. She's so polite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the um. No, don't oh, wait go one s- sec. Here's your reminder. Hey, Al, take your pills. Thank you. Oh, she has to do it to you twice. Cause... Yeah, she's yeah, twice as nice. Yeah. Oh, she's a little <laughs> OCD, maybe. Um, <laughs> no, Uber partnered up with Tokyo Smoke. Yes, they did. Yes. So they can now deliver uh, uh, actually, Tokyo Smoke pot. Uh, but you see, Uber signed up with uh, Tokyo Smoke, but. Potify has been doing deliveries in Toronto now for a lot of different dispensaries here in the city, legal and non-legal. Uh, one being Cafe. Uh, and it's called Potify? And, it's, and they use the Potify system, yeah. So what's Potify? Just... It's a delivery system, that, uh, it, but it's also a system that will run your dispensary. So it's a whole in one thing. Like it's a plug-in oh, really? that you can get. Right, but it's it's a service that does delivery for dispensaries, and uh, it's usually within you know two or three hours. I don't know if it's run through. I've only like I've only used Cafe for delivery here in the city, uh, and I don't know if, it, if they're actually intertwined with them. But I know when you go to order through the Cafe website, uh, it sends you to Potify. Whereas if you were going to order from Cannabis can uh, uh, Canna Cabana, which is also down the road. Uh, down the road in the area here now, there's Canna Cabana. They've changed it from Meta, uh, um, and then there's uh, Cannabis Hut, and then there's three or four of them along Eglinton, uh, within five minute drive now. Right, they're popping up all over the city. There's a, a downtown. Uh, there's a lot down on, you know, in the areas you would think there'd be a lot in Queen Street, Blue Earth, you know, that kind of thing. But what they're doing is they're opening up legal stores beside not legal stores or medical cannabis uh, dispensaries, private places. And they're finding that uh, they're they're catching the people who don't want to go into the illegal establishments. Right. Um, just hang on now. Was I just talking to myself? No, no, no. I was listening. Oh, all right. Just checking. That was funny. (laughs) No, we're just talking about the vote. Betty White is almost 100. And she's got a new book (coughs) called uh, Betty White 100 Remarkable Moments in an Extraordinary Life. um, New Brunswick is about to try something different. In, to combat the black market. Yes, they are. They're going to remove all the tax. No, no. Is that not uh, what I saw an article saying that they were going to remove tax or, or one of the provinces? Was one they... of the provinces, but wasn't New Brunswick. Okay. New Brunswick is, is bringing in private cannabis stores because now, now all of their it. stores are agency stores. Uh, okay. I want to find that uh, article now. And find it. No, not that one. You, you keep talking. I want to find the no, other no. article that I was thinking about. It's uh, California that's doing it. San Francisco. Was oh, it California? Okay. Yeah. So New Brunswick is going to introduce private stores, uh, and thinking that this will get rid of the black market. When in fact it won't. It'll just reinforce the black market even more. Um, if they want to get <laughs> San Francisco is trying a different route and they're going to basically halt the marijuana tax to fight the black market. The taxes are what drives the prices up. Well, I was going to say, you know, the way to combat this is to uh, drop your prices, make it uh, easier, make it as easy as walking to the buddy down the road kind of guy. Okay. And uh, make your price the same with uh, good, uh, 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 as good as or better product. Right. Um, I think that's the only way that, that I think. You'd I think in Canada, the, the attack the per gram. I think you're 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 probably over. You're probably close to two bucks per gram is just in taxes. 
Now, are the prices that are listed on these on on the OCS site are those prices including tax? Like that's the price you pay? Well, they include the excise tax, but not GST. Uh, some do, some don't. I don't know. Okay, so I like what I might, when do. you go when you go because you've been into the into the liquor store. When you go to the liquor store, do you pay you, you pay tax for your booze and you pay tax for your weed as well? In Nova, yeah, but in Nova Scotia, the taxes are already in on the price. Uh, on so the weed. when you go up and it, on either on cannabis okay. or liquor. So if you go up and there's a bottle of liquor there for twenty dollars, so it's $20, included. The, when you get the it's cash, the fact. you're paying twenty dollars, uh, yeah, and okay. plus a deposit. I think yeah. not like McDonald's when you go to the window and it's uh, ten ninety nine and you get you get to, or you go to the speaking thing and it's ten ninety nine and you get there and it's nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> yeah. Now, what's an average gram go for now? Anyway, I never used. To uh, you know, I was looking at at um, oh, oh, oh. Uh, like I said, I was looking at Canna Cabana and stuff like that. They have stuff there for ten dollar grams. They also have specials. You can now and then you can get uh, you know fifty five dollar specials at these places. Some of them, right? I, I want to say it depends on what you're buying, and most places that I've seen don't sell grams. No. It's like you know three, three point five, three and a half, three and a half. Anything uh, that you get any, a quarter. Anything from Truro is three rolls. is a can of three and a half. Yeah, it's that's pre rolls. Yeah, that's what they're pushing. And they have milled stuff too. Yeah, mm-hmm. the shred. Yeah, yeah. that's that's like, that's like what we used to get. Marcel, you remember that back way back in the way, way in the way. <laughs> I still have a bag of it. You can still see the chunks of stock in it. Terpenes to be gone from that. Prairie plant systems. Yep. So, yeah, that would have been pre-2009. That long ago. Yeah. Holy. So, uh, the other day I was listening to the station and an old show uh, uh, came on from 2013 and you were on it. But it was one of the first ones that you did. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yep, oh, yep. cool. You may have been on as a guest on that show. Oh, actually, yeah. But uh, I've I've had I got a couple of shows with you on it that that long ago. The only reason I'm mentioning is because I've moved everything to, in case anybody you know likes to go and listen on Spreaker and stuff like that later in the week or whatever. Uh, we've moved everything pretty much over to uh, our YouTube uh, channel, uh, so you can find us on there and you'll see. There's almost almost a thousand episodes of various shows including old shows like pace radio and and uh uh coffee and cannabis and even russell barth shows on there oh yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> hi russell what was that called let's barf with russell let's barf with russell hey that'd let's be a barf. good show let's barf let's barf with, with russell, russell barf <laughs> anyway <laughs> i like i like russell smart enough ah uh, might be a good was show. It, he he talk about all he the is, things yeah, that annoy he is. him. He has Russ. he has just come back onto Facebook again after his you know banning, uh, yeah. and he's you know like just jumps right in and just starts right up again. And then he gets banned again. Yeah. Was he uh, the uh, actor that was on here that one time? Yes, sir. He has quieted down. Yes, uh, a lot. It, when. Back when I first met Russell, he used to tell everybody he was the angriest pothead in the world. Yeah. Oh, that and, guy, yeah. And then he met me. <laughs> <laughs> and he realized that you know, there could be other people out there that are slightly angrier. <laughs> He's not all that angry. He's just a fucking mouthpiece. Hi, Russell. We love you. I was angry. <laughs> Remember do, back when I used do, to fight do we, with doctors in the government? And geez, remember back when you were fighting with John Trammell? <laughs> oh, yeah, my favorite. Oh, is that the $2 guy? Yes, sir. I mean, ma'am, oh, sorry. Oh, my God. I <laughs> want my money back. Yeah. A lot of people want their money back. <laughs> He's a guy who said he was going to come to Nova Scotia and stab us. I just want to say I <laughs> fell for his $2 thing back in 2014. And when he reached out to me last year and asked me for two dollars to sign some COVID thing, my only was response that what he's was, doing now? Yeah, my only response was go fuck yourself. Blocked. What the hell, dude? 
Go find hey. another person. You've already scammed me once. I was like, me and how many other people did you take their two dollars? You know, somebody's gonna that likes John is gonna say, you know, they're talking about you, and, and they can't you know all they want, and I don't care. What, I, I still want there. my two dollars back. I was there. I never spent money. I and a few of my friends told everybody, don't do this, to the point where John. Even threatened to come down and stab us. You know oh. what? John is one of two people that I've hung up and, on on the show. Well, yeah, because probably that's how Russell's the other one. Bread and butter, but it played out exactly the way I said it was going to play yeah, out, and then they got hit with the court costs. So everybody that filed had to pay that. Yep. If you mm-hmm. wanted in it, you had to pay it. No, and has anything because. Because it, ha- it never went past that. So it's still it the, in, it's done. No, the judge dismissed it. Oh, and it, it, was, was, it was a stupid, frivolous case. The way he did it, thinking that he could flood all the courtrooms, they just bunched everybody together and did it as one video trial. That's it. So, oh, hey, hey, you know what? Backfired. I, I keep forgetting to bring this up, but I got some stuff, if you look at my video. I got some stuff from Canadian Lumber, and I've been using it, and I'm really enjoying the hippie. Hippie's not that bad. Yeah, I, I like I like the hippie for uh, uh, my general rolling, and I like the 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 greens, which is a little thicker for my slickers, and the woods is nice, all right. Although I'm not a big fan of the brown papers. No. No, I, I like I like I like the bleach. I, well, I like bleach. I like ingesting it's bleach, all right? Thing, though, it's just right? a little. It's just a little. <laughs> is it an aesthetics thing? I don't know it's what it is, thing. but there's there's three different kinds of papers, and and they're they're really really good papers. I like them. I like the size. You know, I like I like the larger paper. I don't like the little. I can't the, like like a, a, a zigzag to me is just like <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> you know. If you hand yeah. me a zigzag, you have to make sure that it's a two paper. Yes, ma'am. Do you have any plans for the 18th? Of this month? Yeah. This, Do you want to come to like karaoke? A... Oh. Uh, probably not. I thought you were like lining them up for a date. Yeah. No. Well, there might be a hot one there. Yeah. It's in Orno at Kelly's Green Lounge. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, well, so, well, we'll see what the weather's like. I wasn't planning on going up that way uh Anytime soon, because it's getting kind of bad up there. It's raining and snowing and raining and snowing and then nothing and then raining and snowing. But that's what we're going to get this year. Maybe. Remind yeah, me. But that's are you a good singer? Are for. No, no, I don't do karaoke. I, I can you don't sing. do the karaoke? Because I'm no. pretty sure that halfway through the song, you'd go on to something else. Probably. Oh, yeah. you should <laughs> sing a song, Tequila. Yeah. No, that pro- that's exactly what would happen, too, Marcel. <laughs> Hey, did you yeah, blah 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 tequila. blah? Hey, did you know that? Um, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dale, TV what's the gross tequila. segment tonight? Hold on, wait, know. wait, wait, wait. This how rude. Oh Lord. Okay, okay. There you go. <laughs> intro and everything. You guys giving any thoughts on what you guys are going to grow next year? Uh yes, but yeah, I want to know about your bugs. Oh my bugs! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dale's got bugs. <laughs> Pet I bugs. I was fighting a two spotted uh, spider mite infestation. So I was using uh, some endol just to knock the population down, and then I ended up ordering some predatory bugs called persimilis. I just put them on there. Why wouldn't why wouldn't well, you just the, day before? Why were wouldn't the you get Were loose or were they in their like bag? Did they no, have they're in a little bottle with a a sawdust medium. Oh, okay. Like okay. that. Yeah. Why wouldn't you and use ladybugs? Sprinkle that on your canopy and then just give them a day or two to kind of acclimate and go to town. Why wouldn't you just use eating. ladybugs, bud? Why? Why wouldn't you just use ladybugs? Uh, these the are more bug. efficient for the two-spotted spider mite. Oh, okay. Like they're well, they they're bred the eggs, for that. The eggs are the hardest part of uh, getting okay. rid of them. I get it. I get it. And ladybugs prefer. It's easy to kill them. Bigger meals the like eggs. aphids. Oh, okay. okay. Ladybugs probably get bored with spider mites. They like bigger, chunkier, meatier things. Yeah, that would get tedious for them. Mm. 
but they seem to be working. I'm enjoying seeing your pictures. Yeah, I can't wait to actually get down there and spend some time and get some real good pictures and get into it, but I haven't been able to the last couple of days. We'll shoot some videos. Hopefully in the next day or two. Set up a camera and just let it run for a while, and then we can show it on the show. It'll be creepy. Well, they're, to... they're smaller than that. This is a scope. Yeah, uh... I tried to get pictures of uh, a ladybug eating an aphid. They're ravenous. It's oh, amazing. that'd be awesome. They're hard but to take care of. They're hard it's to hard to, to get a picture. Of. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Takes a lot of patience just sitting yeah. there and waiting for the right moment. Bugs well, in what general. Are you growing next? What are you going to grow next year, Dale? You're obviously already picking out your strains. I don't know. I want to get something that's going to go early this year. I'm sick of, you know, waiting, waiting and fighting mildew and mold. I'm sick of that shit. So I'm going to try and find something that finishes a little earlier. Something in September, like early September. I'm thinking. I don't know. I'm thinking some more Northern Lights for sure because that one fared the best. Uh, I think I'm gonna say no to the ice cream cake because uh, it got a little bud rot. Um, uh, the Death Bubba was really nice as well. I'm also, but I'm gonna start everything this year at the same time. I'm not gonna wait. Right, because now I've got yeah. my license, so I can just pull, go put my plants out. Yeah, right. In April, are you starting <laughs> well, indoors, Al? Uh, I'm probably going to have somebody do that for me, or I'll, right or I will, uh, because I've got I've got three uh, Northern Light seeds from stuff that I grew uh, that I'm going to try. Hey, but you don't know what they've crossed with. Yeah, I know, but I liked that strain <sighs> also- so. Right, but they may also be hermaphrodites. It's the only uh, it's the only plant that I got seeds off. Just saying. Okay, and you had no males. I had no males at all. They were all clones. Is and there any hemp no fields neighbors. around you? What's that? You there have any hemp no fields around you. Uh, lots of fields, but uh, no, nobody was growing within a mile, probably. May, may, maybe. Ver, ver- very likely they won't even be viable seeds. Okay. So don't even worry about them? I wouldn't worry about those. Okay. I think for you, if if you're not going to do seeds, because if you're well, going to do seeds, you want to I, I start them sooner. I don't want to do seeds and um, yeah, oh, they're, uh, di- diaphems. I've heard of those. Um, yeah. and, and to be honest, the, uh, the plants that I got from Sweet Leaf in Alderville were really good. Okay, they were healthy. They all. When it just says buy clones again, at least then you know they're all females. Yes, and and the ones that were that were brought to me uh, via a friend, um, yeah. uh, they were they were quite healthy as stuff as well. Um, the ice cream cake is the only thing that I really had an issue with. Right? Uh, blueberry headband. See this one here, the blueberry, blueberry headband. headband. Yes. From Humboldt. Look that one up okay. online um, because I could help you with this one. Okay. I will look at this that. This is what I've got growing. Um, I want something uh, that is uh, specifically for ADHD this time. They'll be, Good luck. And, yeah, it's I'll all personal. Like, I, I just know. Just because it know. works with ADHD with someone Everybody's else. Everybody's different. But it's yeah, a they can't label it good yeah. for ADHD. It's a, a suggestion. Yeah, no, they, they, some some of the reviews will tell you if you have ADHD, this works for me. Uh, Northern Lights is one of those for me. Uh, there's a few out there. Who Lemon Haze makes like me the... a little bit jittery. What's that? Who was it that said they liked the uh, Super Lemon Haze? I like Super Lemon Haze, but sometimes it makes me a little bit jittery. I love oh, okay. Lemons. I'm growing some right now. I'm breeding it, actually. I'll send you some seeds if you like it. All right. Nice. Cool. Super yes, I do like days. it. It's a little, it's a, it, it's a nice uh, treat to get you up in the morning. But a little, if you, if I have too much of it, I'm kind of like, you know, one of those. This ones. one might but be a little bit like that cross with an OG Kush. Okay, cool, sure. I've also yeah. Started... You always tend to get jittery with sativas, though. Um. Or at least you used to, depending on the sativa. I get more more jittery with a fucking indica, to be honest with you. Oh, you've changed. Well, I get I get couch lock, and I don't like that, and that that gets me anxious. And you oh. know. 
I, you know, it's just, I, I say this all the time. Being couch lock for me is the same feeling, not the same total feeling, but similar feeling to the way I get when I'm really depressed. Right. I've never experienced coach lock, so I have no idea what you're talking about. There you go. That's just that lazy. Lazy. Uh, lazy, don't want to do anything. La, 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 you know. No, I don't even get that. Uh, every little, every, if I'm sitting down watching TV, I even don't then, want I still that. have to get up and walk, walk around for a while. Like if, if I was going out and doing stuff with people, I'd be smoking a sativa. Yeah. You know. I like Amy used to say Amy Brown used to say I don't like sativa I'm hyper as a you know hyper enough as it is uh, which which is true with her you know <laughs> um, I thought that's why she was hyper it's not a sativa no she smokes indica she doesn't like uh, sativa at least that's oh the shit way she used yeah to. I wouldn't want to see her on yeah, sativa yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> love you Amy yeah. Um, Who am I kidding? She's not going to hear this. <laughs> no, I was going to say, yeah, she won't be listening. She's probably <laughs> off gallivanting, and she's probably that's uh, funny. In that case, fuck you, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody that knows her might be listening, though. Um, I believe. Well, she, she knows me, and she knows I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, I believe she was speaking at Grow Up. Oh, that wouldn't surprise me. I know she spoke at um, Lyft. Oh, maybe it was Lyft. Maybe maybe it was Lyft. It was one of them. I know she was speaking at one of them. I'm done, my tree. Nice. Does it light up? No. Oh, you suck. Yeah, you suck. (laughs) (laughs) You're like, does it light up? No, but it's beautiful. Um, I don't, uh, hold on, hold on, hold hey, on. you know what else is here. beautiful? I found the other day. What? I've seen that. Yep, yep, yep. You know what you haven't seen? Sam's book, yep. He signed it. Do you see that? I miss Sam so much. That is, that is yeah. the very, very last signature that he ever made. Oh, uh, I, the last he, time I saw him was at, was at, uh, Lyft? You were there. At Lyft. You were there when yeah. he signed this. Was I? And I I stupidly didn't even think because my my father-in-law at the time had a stroke and I should have thought about this prior to asking him for his signature. I was just so like, oh my God, it's Sam. Um, and he actually wasn't able to write yet. And and that's why it doesn't actually look like Sam's signature. I was so excited when I saw him. I turned around and he was standing there with his wife and I was just like, yeah! you know, after... You know, because I, yeah. I know Sam and or I knew Sam and like it wasn't just somebody I followed online. I knew Sam. <laughs> right. I've been well, in his I home. was excited to meet him. But then I heard he like that was just be on his book tour. He, and that's when he, he was, had the accident. He was supposed to come on the show. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And he was actually on his flight back. Uh, he was flying back shortly just before the stroke. He was mm-hmm. on his way back to Toronto. Uh, and he yeah, I remember. Stroke. Didn't he mail Marcel the book? The, well, he had yep. a, he had yeah. he had his stroke on the airplane, I think. Yeah, it was when I he landed. They, they found they him found slumped over in the a, chair or yeah. something. Yeah. Yep. So he and so he was coming back not to do the show, but he was on the show that week. Mm-hmm. Right. He w- had been at his farm in uh, Vancouver. He was an and amazing man. And the book man. is. The great cannabis conspiracy. Yeah, he was an amazing man, and all he wanted to do was help people get better using cannabis oil. And if you needed help, he would be there. Period. You know, he used all the money that he had and that he has made in his lifetime to help people. Not all of it, I'm sure. You know, he was a pretty wealthy guy, but uh, a very, very genuine person. I, I I was lucky to spend some time with him a few times. So, yeah. yeah, I was happy to find that the other day. I found that, and I found my treating yourself uh, the first first edition sign. Somebody somebody my, uh, stole my uh, my uh, 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 green buds and whatever yeah. it's called from the lounge. Somebody walked out with it. Yeah. I have an unsigned copy you can have. No, this was signed. I think Dana, Dana sent it to me. It was signed. 
I have a signed copy too, but I need to get him to re-sign it because it says to Janice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now you can you hit guys stole this the... book. What? You stole that book from Janice. Uh, oh, yeah. You yeah. thief. I murdered Janice and stole it. Don't say and that on what Facebook. That, You're going to get us red flag for fuck's sake. Oh, just, just, I just, murdered Janice. Just, just, let's just, let's just, let's just take a second That's and remind that. people that her birth name is Janice, okay? <laughs> she used to killed be Janice, bitch. but she killed the bitch. <laughs> yeah. Come on. If Taylor Swift can kill her alter ego or her other, whatever, I can kill myself. I thought it was her boyfriend that did that. <laughs> No, what's that song? Which mm, one? Look what you made me do. Dale had a question. What was you? What were you talking about, Dale? Have any of you guys to? seen Dope Sick yet? That show. Yeah, that pisses, no. pissed me off. No, I can't. I, just, I can't because I, I already know it. It, it's true. Yeah, I can't watch it. Yeah, I've been watching. A, I've been watching. It's a hell of a well done show. I, I, I've, I've heard. Doesn't it just make you angry though? Uh, who's in yeah, that? Does, who's, it, who's, really in that? Well who's in that? Who's in that? Tom Hanks. Uh, Keaton. Tom, yeah, Michael, Michael Keaton. Keaton Sorry, not Tom Hanks. Okay. Yeah. Always gets a next shot. No, he does I, a really good job. He's he plays a, a therapist or whatever, right? An addicted no. doctor. Oh, he's a doctor that that. gets himself addicted. Quiet. Yeah, I'm giving away the shit. You know, I can't watch that because, uh, and I think I can say this now because my mom's gone, but my mom had a bad addiction to Ritalin because of my ADHD and knowing what she knew, uh, she jumped into that realm and and it took over her life and she was in the hospital for it and she went through rehab and everything so yeah anybody can be infested by by drugs mm-hmm. oh, yeah. just get pissed off it, it makes me angry but well, that, and that's is, why i can't watch it yeah it just upsets me this 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 show shows you how slimy the pharmaceutical industry actually is yeah. So for people well saying, "Oh yes, I can't wait for them to come out with a new booster," you, you, you guys are fucking idiots. Okay, now, uh, so Michael, you sure Michael Keaton's in it because he's in that new movie Worth, which is about uh, the uh, insurance claims uh, after nine eleven, and that's exactly oh. what he does. He comes in and just kind of says, "No, you can't have this," or, or you know, have you you haven't seen Worth? I guess no. No, and no. he's also he's, is... he's 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 also going to be Batman again in the next Spider Man movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like I'm him. Excited about that. Yeah, I like him as 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 Batman. Keaton for life. Yeah, yep, yep. He is well. He was Batman after uh, Adam West, basically. Well, he created the I am Batman. I'm Batman. or I'm Batman. Yeah, I'm that's Batman. that's Keaton. Yeah, yeah, and now it's Bad Dad. I'm Bad Dad. <laughs> I love that guy. He's fucking hilarious. Hey, did I show off this last time? Did I show you guys my necklace? Everybody's got their mushrooms out. Are, are they hanging out? I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on. Here, put your mushrooms away, man. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Did you get that from you know who? From oh, Mellow, cool. yeah. Yeah. Here, I'll try and make it. Stuff. Mellow moments. That's neat. I like that. So, yeah. Two mushrooms. Here, let me make you bigger. Let me make you bigger here. Oh, I don't like to make me bigger. There you go. You're spotlighted. That's very cute. Oh, yeah. I like that. And that's like actual that. mushrooms. Two mushrooms and an amethyst at the bottom. I have one of her nugs. Right I have a nug from her. She gave oh. me uh, uh, many years ago, actually. She's doing uh, mushroom jewelry now Ooh. and uh, lapels and pins. And I don't know like, if that'd be like too expensive to for somebody to make those, I mean, you wouldn't be able to make much money out of them. How much that? Co- how much would she sell that piece for? I really should get an answer to this. Look on her website. I am, um, or ask her. I gave her. I gave her a ride. It was gas money. <laughs> <laughs> but what would she normally sell it for? Is what I'm wondering. I don't. Know. I don't know. I'd have to ask her. I don't want to say. I don't want to say a price in case it's too low. Yeah, then everybody will want one. You could message her and ask her. Or too high. Then she might have $500. One million. If, if you're interested, check out Mellow Moments with a Z. Because all stoners put Zs instead of Ss, you know. I don't. Unless you have D8, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, dyslexia. 
because there's no Z in dyslexia. (laughs) Yeah, when you have dyslexia, it goes in the front. (laughs) That's funny. Dead air. Notification. Okay, no more spotlight. (laughs) Oh, yeah, okay. Thank you. Get out Um, of here. (laughs) You guys have the problem in uh, Ontario with these vaccinations, with kids getting vaccinated without parents' permission? No. Uh, some, yes. There's I've been seen. there's been threats, but that's about it. Uh, they have they've come to the schools, uh, but they notified all of the parents the days that they'd be there. They didn't go into oh, really? anybody's classroom and say, "Hey, you know, vaccinations are happening." Um, but there there have been like reports of like 15 year olds getting vaccinated without I've, their parents. I've said permission. this a few times when I went to Jesse Ketchum Public School in Toronto. Uh, we used to once or twice a year get boosters and shots and they would come down and set up in the basement near the cafeteria and they would, you know, if your parents signed the form, you'd get a shot. public school? This was at public school, yeah. And if your parents signed the form, you'd get a shot. And if they didn't, you didn't. But that just uh, goes I, to show that, that they were giving you shit you shouldn't have had because that's back not the, in the vaccination se- in the schedule. 60s and 70s. But that's not the vaccination schedule. The last shot you're supposed to get as a child is the four to six shot. The booster. The four to six, it's the MMR, the measles, mumps, rubella. Yeah, the booster, and then, that's what we got in school. Yeah, you would have been kindergarten to grade would two. Would have got it before school. Uh, I would have been, now hold on, let me do some math in my head. I would have been in grade four. No, see, that's the thing. No, the, grade four would have been your it would have uh, been grade seven. Would have been earlier or later? No, was that the one that gave you the round circle? It could be. It could be. No, that's when you get right. when you're born, what, isn't it? Was it hepatitis C? No, oh. actually, hang on. I you guys now, I, you see, I also back in the '70s, I also had like umpteen thousand shots because we went on a Euro- European vacation and there was like fourteen right. shots, twenty-one shots, something like that. You know, I don't remember how. You used we, to get we, the measles, mumps, rubella. Um, yep, it was a booster, and, right? And you get that once it, a year. And then you got the TB shot, which was the big round circle. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe it was TB. But they were they, yeah. uh, several. I remember and then your several other times one that you would get with the tetanus. I remember several times. I've had that at the hospital a couple of times. Uh, I remember several times while I was at Jesse Ketchum specifically getting shots. Uh, and I believe that it was a booster. So it would have been whatever age that I would have gotten the boosters back then. But it would have been the 60s. Right. So when I was a kid in the 60s, I got the um, TB shot, which was one big round needle about an inch in diameter. Um, and that's the one that leaves the circle. Leaves a big circle. Yeah. When I went in you the said military. said it was tuberculosis? Yeah, TB right. shot. When I went in the military, I had to get the shots they again. They, did they it don't in, give that. Not anymore. No, but it was included. Yeah, it was included as a booster, or no? Was it? Or was it just nope. on its own? It probably might be included <laughs> in one of the other shots now. My my point is, I guess, uh, is unless it's under pneumo conjugate, they used to do it then, and parents said yes or no, uh, and they should be doing you know the same thing. I mean, when you're gonna if you're gonna start forcing parents to say yes, stick a needle in my son's arm, uh, even though. I don't want to take it for myself, but if he has to go to school, I don't. That's that's just a little too much. I'm sorry. I'd pull my well, kid out of school, and, and that's think, probably what's going to happen. What's going to happen is eventually people are going to get pissed off enough, and just say somebody's no. going to have enough money and go and grab a lawyer and say, "Let's go." Can, are there not class action shoots? Uh, is this from school? Read what? Can you read this yellow card? Um, no. So. The card itself, it's from the health, like Ontario, it's from the government. Um, and this Referring is what to your our, kids? This is what the vaccination schedule is. I'll tell you, I'll just read to you what we get immunized for. There's diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, polio, HIB, not V, B is in Bob, pneumoconjugate. Can you, can you show? Oh, okay, you're looking at I was going to ask. Measles. Show, okay. Mumps, rubella, we know the MMR, yeah. uh, the meningitis C conjugate, the Vercella, which is um, chicken pox, mm. uh, hepatitis B, the human papilloma, 
um, H- influenza HPV, yeah. and pneumo only. So, and, and now, when it says and now, ages, and now Omnicore. <laughs> no, no. When it says ages, the, okay. So you get two months, four months, six months, right? You get the diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, polio, HIV, pneumoconjugate. Those are all in the two month, four month, the six boosters, months. Yeah. Then 12 months, 15 months, 18 months, then they get a break until they're four to six. They get the DTPP again. Then at 12 years, they give them the hepatitis B. So that's grade seven. So this just Then a year later, they do all the boys and girls. They do them the HPV. Yeah. Why? (laughs) Because they're they're worried that they're going to get, they're worried that they're going to get cancer later on. Ovarian cancer in boys, yes, because it's very fucking common. No, it's, no it's, reason they're saying for... it's cancer that can go to testicular. And it's bullshit. It's Gardasil. And even the maker of Gardasil is just cringing at the fact that they're giving this to, to little to boys. girls and boys. Yeah. Um, apparently, uh, it'll, after that, it's every 10 years, you're supposed to get the diphtheria tetanus polio. Or sorry, sorry diphtheria tetanus. Um, And then every autumn, they suggest getting the flu shot. And then um, after 65, it's the pneumo poly, which I'm assuming that has something to do with um, shingles. This is now. This is current. Current. But uh, the but uh, (laughs) this makes you a cash cow to a pharmaceutical company. COVID is not on that list. Not yet. No. Now, question. This is something that everybody in Canada gets in their lifetime. Correct. Everybody uh, should get this, but you, okay. you can opt out of it. But this. You're, that's what I'm getting at. This is you can this opt is out of a lot of them. Like a, is there ideally, anything you that's opt not, out of the Gardasil. Is there anything that's yeah, not optional the at this point, other than the the COVID shots? That, it's there, none of these. None of these are mandatory. None of these. So the, as, as of right now, I wish Len was here. As of like, right now, look, is there is, any? Is, are there any? Are there do any, you see any shots on um, here? Shots that are mandatory. <laughs> No. For Canadians. It's against no. the law. So then why are they getting close to making this mandatory? They won't because it's against the law. Hmm. Yeah, that does. And, not and we, can thank, we can thank your hateful friends that you hate it so much because of it Who's that we that? have this law. Who's that? The conversation we had earlier about the whole Nazi thing. Oh, okay. I get you. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we now have a law that makes it illegal for anybody to force a medical procedure on anybody, including genetic, genetically modified testing, which yep. includes the PCR test. Just want to point that out. So this is why this is why the federal government says that they'll support the mandates each province puts out, but. Just remind everybody that these shots are voluntary. Well, some people be able, some people will be able to eat out, and some people won't. That's all. <laughs> you know what though? Well, this is what we laugh about because we drive around at night, and the restaurants that used to be packed are dead, are empty. Yep, yep. They're they're fucking dying. And I mean, not in Toronto. You should here, see people around, are building outdoor patios down on that are Queen pretty Street. much indoor. Down on Queen Street, it's nuts. Every fucking night down there, you know, down around uh, uh, the Lee's Palace, Qu- uh, Queen and Bathurst. But outdoor patios, Blue right? Blue and Bathurst. A lot of them, yeah, Queen and Bathurst. They're, and now they're actually in Toronto. They're actually, for next season, they're talking oh. about allowing more of these little communities that are opening up on, in the parking spots. But now there's people down in the Bluer Village and, and the Annex that are, the, the uh, there's a group of committees that are actually saying, no, we don't want you to do that. You're making our fucking neighborhood look trashy. But you go down there on a Friday or Saturday night and it's packed with people like it was in the 70s and the 60s and the 80s. I don't and know. Even well, I look at it there. like this. If, if they would just let the people inside the fucking restaurants, then they wouldn't have to put all this shit outside. Restaurant owners wouldn't have to pay to heat the outdoors so half their patrons could sit outside. Okay, so... So yeah. here, let's let's put this question out here. The, their whole idea of stopping people from going in and eating in a restaurant is to protect everybody, correct? Yeah, except so, the staff can be unvaccinated. So then you have no protection there. Now, in Tim Hortons here 
in our great little community, when you walk in the door, you can walk in and go to the counter. But when you walk in, you have to follow the floor line, the arrows, yeah. which takes you through the whole seating area. Yes, it does. To get your to get to the counter to get your drink. And you have to sign a form if you stay. Yeah, whatever. But, but yeah. like the air uh, it's knows. It's not like I'm staying. But this the is nothing to do with protection. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, just because I'm there for 10 minutes or a half an hour, the air is the same. Well, right. and, and now they're saying also that these partitions that people are putting up is actually worse for us because it prevents air from flowing, flowing. which is making yeah. it worse. You know, okay, well, so Mary Jane. It's kind of like you, wearing a mask. You know the restaurant on Highway 45 uh, just before you turn off to go to, uh, just before Alderville. Okay, there's a okay. restaurant. They have an, a big outdoor patio and they, they mm-hmm. have roast beef and turkey dinners and stuff like that. You can get there. Okay. So I, at the beginning, when they were allowing restaurants up there to stay open, they had the partitions in there. It was the way they had it set up, it was like walking into a crash test dummy's home. Okay. Because they had those, the, the tape, right, everywhere. So, because people were walking into the, windows and stuff like that right it was it was very claustrophobic right very very claustrophobic but now they don't have that right they've allowed the restaurants to just open up right Uh yeah i mean and the great the uh, great food there by the way if you're ever going up that way (laughs) as long as you mentioned as long as you've been as long as you have a passport yeah now yeah Yeah. but they have taken and this is yeah, I've, been offered, I've been offered a couple by a couple people that they could hook me up. And I'm like, I don't want to participate. I was in a restaurant, won't say which one, the other day. And I turned around and there were six bylaw enforcement officers sitting there at a table together eating max, maskless. They all got up and left the restaurant. Well, without, to... Hold on. They all got up and put their and, and, and left the restaurant without putting their masks on. Sure. Why? Because the masks are fucking useless anyways. Science already shows that they're useless. It just makes some people feel better because they saw it on the news. Yeah. The news told them that, yep. oh, yeah, the mask mask works when the science proves that the mask doesn't. My problem with mainstream media is they will not put any opposing opinion on. Any doctor that speaks out gets ostracized. They won't give them airtime. Anybody that questions any of it won't get any airtime with media. Yeah. So you're only getting one side of the story. And the problem is, is, is our population has been conditioned to believe the fucking media because they would never lie to you, like the government. Yeah. Uh-oh. You've got mail. Remember that? It's funny, even with all those articles that are coming out about how um, the government or the pharmaceutical companies throw hissy fits when their products are pulled from Health Canada or whatever, and and like, you know, all the lawsuits that they've had over the years, but yet we're still supposed to trust them. Oh, like yeah. our government lied and stole children from right from their fucking homes and their communities and fucking murdered them pretty much and they're still not making reparations for that and yet we're still supposed to trust them i'm like just so much of it is like no 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 don't feel right about that i commented today that i uh or the other day that you know with the actions of our government i no longer feel proud to be a canadian and somebody commented that uh i sound like an imbecile or no yeah, that I sound like an imbecile. I was like, oh, thanks for your opinion. Have a wonderful day. Like, I just said I'm not proud to be Canadian. I don't know what crawled up your ass. I'm not proud to be a human. Because oh, it's not just Canada. That. It's the whole goddamn world's gone retarded. Okay, so did did you watch that, that yeah. show that we were talking about, Marcel, speaking of human, about uh, Ebola? Which show? No, not yet. No, I can't remember what what's it called. Uh, true, ooh, no, true uh, lies. No, no, no. But it was it was uh, 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 Juliana Margulies was in it. A few other people. It was uh, produced by one, se- one uh, Rid- season's about Ridley Scott. The next that's season right. Is yeah, about I was. Yeah, 
and I've watched both of them, and they were uh, they're done by National Geographic. So there's got to be some. I mean, they're usually pretty good. Oh yeah, I looked it up. A buck ninety nine of episode on Apple TV. If you want to pay for it, yeah, or you can watch it on the internet yeah. like most people do. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but my point Don't is, it, it, it was though. very. Uh, I'll look it up in a sec. Uh, it was very well done. Uh, Ridley Scott produced it, and um, but I, I, I mean, it was. The first one, like we said, was about Ebola. Ebola. And it was, uh, I think, it was done over three nights, uh, and it, it, there must be some validity to it. It was a f- uh, fictionalized true story. Is it the hot zone. It, the hot zone. That's the one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then the second season, like Marcel said, uh, was about uh, anthrax, which was pretty good. Uh, and so you know they had. Uh, so tell me about the Ebola one. You didn't watch it? No. Oh. I figured you would have watched that one. Not yet. No. It was uh, it was the the story uh, going through uh with the monkeys and then uh they they actually went from tracing it and where it came and they went back and forth and you know how it got here and how one person got uh, infected and then mice or mice uh, monkeys escaped and yeah but they contained it pretty quickly as we know because you know we know the story why did now, they right? why didn't they contain AIDS I don't know I don't know why don't why can't they contain co- contain COVID you know because it's a fucking cold virus it's, it's a flu Everybody gets a cold virus. Yeah, I'm fighting something off right now, man. I got the sniffles. and Oh, my God. My kid called me today from school and was like, I don't feel good. I was like, what's wrong? He's like, we were eating nachos and I feel weak. <laughs> I'm like, I can't. I'm like, I'm having trouble breathing. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I just I feel really weak. Can you come get me? And I was like, yeah, go to the office. And then on his way down to the office, I called them. You know what they said? When he gets down here, we're going to have to do the COVID screening. So I called him right back and I was like, dude, tell him your tummy hurts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, tell him your tummy hurts. Uh-huh. Are are kids still having to wear masks in classrooms? Yeah. I couldn't do it. If, I, 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 really? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I couldn't do it uh, with my ADHD. Which is stupid. Way to make it they can have mask breaks, which is when they take their mask off, but they're supposed to put their head down on their desk. And do they have a choice at staying at home and doing it electronically still? Uh, they do, but I mean, like, that's not good for their mental health. So are there cameras in the classroom still is what I'm getting at. Cameras? Yeah, well, there must have been cameras in the classroom when they were doing it uh, on Zoom. Because I know I don't David... know. When they were doing it on Zoom, it was like this. The, te- the teacher was at home. It was at home. They're not in the yeah, classroom. The I was yeah. under I was under the impression that they were putting cameras in the classroom when they oh, went back the to the cl- classes. Kids were just no, no. The, the kids were tagging along with actual classes. No, no. It was worse. It was one teacher sitting like this with twenty five students in a fucking thing while they're all chatting and playing, and yeah. they're all in their bedrooms. David and, said uh, that he, his, the the issues that he had was they he had to take uh, physical ed in his bedroom. Yeah, so and did my son. He had to do sit ups wanted... and run in place and everything. The teacher says, videotape yourself and send me a video of yourself working out. My son says, I don't feel comfortable sending a video of myself working out to my teacher. So when she says, why, tell him to say, because I do it in the nude. <laughs> no, we, we had a huge thing, and I basically, I the teacher was insisting that he send videos and, and whatever. Yeah, and no, I don't like that. I yeah, I basically I called the principal and I was like, you mm-hmm. know what? If this was a male teacher and my child was a female, you would be making exceptions for this right now. And David, I'm telling you, as a 16 year old boy, he does not want to videotape himself yeah, exactly and send it to his female teacher that yeah. he doesn't know yeah. and has never met. Yes. And like David was taking all his classes in his bedroom. He was in there from like nine o'clock until lunchtime and then again from one o'clock until whenever and he wasn't and he has friends in this in the building that he sees now but he wanted to go to school so badly so oh, yeah. badly and that that he actually failed gym they actually failed him at gym last yep. year 
because oh, he wouldn't participate. Would that. He didn't partic- he didn't that. he couldn't participate. He was not able to. He has learning disabilities. He's got an issue. Oh. You know, with mobility and and uh, that's sad. That's sad that he suffered because of the circumstances. Yeah, it's sad that all like Emily uh, couldn't give two shits. She'd rather sit in her bedroom on a video camera with her class. You know, you know what? Some kids did do better with homeschooling, like I would and other kids did not. If I had Um, done homeschooling at college, I would have flown through. (laughs) Yeah. Well, try try having a five year old. I know. In kindergarten, yep. trying to keep them focused to a little thing, you know what I mean? To a TV screen. It's, it's it, And the social skills, at, like I have friends who their kids are three years old right now. They literally have spent more of their life in COVID and quarantine, not going to daycare, not playing with other kids. Yeah. Yeah. They become recluses. They become spoiled. Spoiled children that don't want to go anywhere. Like their parents can't leave. Coddling, it's called. Yeah. And they say a lot of people adopted animals too over the last year. And then they take them back. Now they're trying to get rid of them all. Yeah. Well, not not just that. If their life goes back to normal and their job goes back, they go back to work, then the animal ends up starting to be lonely, acting up, shitting on the floor. This is why they're trying to get rid of them. We had a, so, uh, so the shelters now are just getting filled. One of the ladies that That's lives sad. in the building uh, lost her, uh, what kind of dog was it? Chihuahua? Not a chihuahua. Um, Pomeranian. No, no, a furry thing. Uh, Slipper with guts. Yeah. Anyways, uh, you know, just a little tiny thing. Very angry dog, though. But he, he developed anxieties because uh, she would go to work and he would just be at the door barking constantly not stopping and um he got so sick from being alone uh he died yeah. you know like uh when i first moved into the city and i was going to hamilton a lot uh i had to take rose with me once a week and then she was home and you now for two or three days out of the week and she was getting very depressed that's why i got steven Right, uh-huh. and now they're just together all the time. They don't give a fuck about me. It's just a feud, feud. I just want your food. Fuck off. <laughs> it's it's almost time to end this, but I gotta ask Al, yeah, because I just saw this, and as soon as I saw it, I thought of you, and it's awesome. Okay. Do you do you suffer from anxiety attacks? Yes. Are they often caused by stupid people? Yes. <laughs> and you should get an emotional support honey badger. <laughs> Unlike other companion animals that snuggle up to provide physical comfort and safe space during anxiety attacks, the emotional support honey badger instead physically attacks and savages the absolute living hell out of the stupid idiot bothering you, thus removing the source of the anxiety. (laughs) Get a honey badger. (laughs) Honey badger this, buddy. (laughs) I thought that was cute. Thanks for sharing that, Corey. Hey, hey, Dale. Funny. Are you okay? I'm living. <laughs> I'm just laying here on the heating pad. Heating pad. What exactly are you did drinking you do, eggnog? Dude? What What did you I do? I am actually. Dale? What do you got in your egg? <laughs> Is it homemade eggnog or store bought eggnog? No, I wish it was homemade. It's I got spiced rum in it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I was hoping you'd say the spice. I don't rum. like eggnog at all. It's too. Just, uh, getting ready for Christmas. What did you do to your <clears throat> leg or back or whatever? I was uh, washing my cleaning my hash bag, so I had a five <laughs> gallon bucket full of water, and I was just lifting, you know, just kind of moving them around. And then I was emptying it after, and I was bent over when I was doing it into the tub, and my back let go. Ouch! And it's been fucked ever since. You pulled something. Well. Yeah, it's because you did it wrong. You always got to lift with your back, man. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I did it. I did it right good. I'll tell you. Yeah, (laughs) right. Some good. Yeah. So you can't even walk. No, well, I can. I can walk a little bit, but it's awful painful. Yeah. Yeah, I've, bro- uh, I've broken both my disc is out of place or what. I've broken both my feet and had to still live. And, so, uh, do you want some really yeah. cool back exercises? <laughs> there you go. I'll try anything. 
All right. So what you've got to do is you got to lay on the floor on a hard surface. I don't know about that, but I can try it. Oh, no. Trust me on this one. Because this is what physiotherapy do. It's only because I've gone through this so much. Lay on the flat surface. Put your feet flat on the floor, floor so your knees are bent up. Yeah. Rotate your spine or your pelvis to make your entire spine to go flat on the floor. Oh, that's okay. a good one. Hold it there. Side to side? No, you just hold your spine flat on the floor. So you have a natural arch on your back, your lower back. Mm -hmm. Put that on the ground. You want to arch it the opposite way so that that piece of spine is actually on the floor. As it's supposed to be. (laughs) Rotate your hips like this way a little bit. Rotate your hips. Pretend you're pregnant. Rotate your hips. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Hold it for 10 seconds. Do that five times. Breathe. Push. Right. Then the next one is to grab your behind your knees and then bring your head up and your knees together and hold that. Relax. Do it again. Do that. Hold I'm it already like five asleep, to ten dude. seconds at a time. I feel like Marcel, you should make a little video and Yeah, it you should do out. this for us, yeah. Marcel. I'd just lay down on that. the floor and just do <laughs> right? that. Yeah. I've um Do not I talk broke, about <laughs> I broke my back in eighty five and that that trip to physio is probably the best thing for me because I've used those exercises ever since. I won't go to a chiropractor anymore. The last time I went, they fucked my back up really bad. They tend to do more damage than good. Yeah. Yep. 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 I, you know, and it, um, uh, I'm able to move my arm a lot more now because I was working at the farm and stuff. So that's a good thing. It's still done. I, I still only have 40% movement but you know i can still jerk off with it and that's what matters <laughs> you were waiting for that uh, mary jane was i wasn't <laughs> I even could, paying attention I, that got my attention uh, <laughs> <laughs> not sh- what she was expecting <laughs> on that note yeah we should say good night to these nice people yes nice Let people them. thanks for listening <laughs> and to let the them, nasty people too. <laughs> to the nasty people. Them, yeah, Fuck and you, just try man. And, try and get that mental <laughs> Since we were minds. all nasty tonight. <laughs> On that note, sorry, Russell. Sorry, sorry, Russell. Sorry, John. Oh, fuck, John. Sorry, Amy. Do we miss anybody? I have a soft spot for Amy. You know that. Oh, I yeah, remember. I, I was only teasing. I know. No, no matter what you're going through, always try and help people. And always strain instead the of, weed. Instead of saying fuck off, ask, how can I help you to fuck off? Yeah. <laughs> just just be kind. Yeah. All right. Help on, me help you. On, the, on that note, yeah, help me help you. Say good night. Help me help you find the door. Good night. Remember to night. stay lifted. Yeah, stay lifted. Good weekend, guys. Thanks for coming by there, Dale. You're not speaking, Dale? I say have a good weekend, guys. And I said thank you for joining us. Oh, no, you said thanks for coming by, Dale. So maybe you thought you said bye, Dale. Oh, no, Our, that's not we're, what I meant. We're off air. We're <laughs> off air so we can say that you did a better job than Darcy, right? No, now. we're not. So you can't say <laughs> so Say, say good night. <laughs> good night, Darcy. <laughs> Go. Hey, Mary, Mary Jane, Jane Baker. Baker. No, no, I'm Mary Jane, Jane Baker. Baker. Wait, can we, can we do, do that, that again? Mary Jane Baker, take 27. Hey, I'm Mary Jane, Jane Baker, Baker, and you're, you're listening, listening to 420 Radio.ca. You're listening to 420 Radio.ca, Canadian Cannabis Radio. Three years. Nine years. Eight years. Seven years. Five years. Four years. Five years. Five years. Five years. The opinions expressed during this show are those of the individual participants and do not necessarily reflect the opinions of their associated organizations or lifestyle radio.